We're going to take a look at the parameter scheduler on the Rushforth Tools ribbon of Revit and see how it can automatically make your Revit families compatible with your schedules and how you can create standard templates for editing new families or applying to existing libraries. The project that we're looking at here is just the out-of-the-box Revit MEP sample project with a few modifications just to demonstrate the tool. Now in this project I've created and scheduled three error handlers, one that I've called AHU for manufacturer, one from the library, and one from my friend. But what's interesting to notice is that if I put them on the schedule, I can type things in these parameters that are from my library. But if I try to type information in these parameters that are on these other families, they're not compatible with my standard library. So if we use the parameter scheduler from a schedule, it will automatically jump to the project schedules review tab and jump to the schedule that I'm looking at. And what it shows here is that I'm missing parameters in some of my families. And I can click on each one of these and see that it's from my friend and from my manufacturer that I'm missing one. I can also click on any other schedule in here and see the different families that are affected. So back to the air handling unit schedule, all I have to do is click add missing parameters to families and it will automatically process the families in my project and add any missing parameters that are found. I can do this for one or multiple families at a time. So back here in the project, I can now type in whatever data I want into these schedules that were previously not editable. Now I'm going to undo that operation and just show you that we can do the same thing using a different method by applying a template to the selected families in the project. So now when I'm opening this from my floor plan, I have a lot of templates here shown that I can add the parameters from. So I'll just say that AHU, I'm going to add these to my selection of things to add, and I'm going to add to the selected elements. Now again, when I go back into the project, you can see that the parameters have filled themselves out. I now have the ability to write to these shared parameters that have been added to the project. So again, let's do this one more time. I'm going to undo. And I want to show you how you can transfer elements from one family to another. So this is my library one. It has a lot of the parameters that I want. But this one next to it doesn't. So I could select these two, open up my parameter scheduler again. And here in my current document, I have the option of, of selecting parameters from my project or the selected elements or schedules. In this case, if you notice, if I look on these, I've got my AHU from library has a lot of parameters that aren't in my one from the manufacturer. So again, I will add these to my list and I'm going to add it to my selected elements. Now I could also filter the families in my selection by family name or by the families that exist on a schedule. Now when I go back into the project, you can see that that one element that I transferred the parameters to is now editable and I have full access to those parameters. This is only affecting the parameters in the loaded families and it's not affecting our family standards or anything outside of the project. Now let's go ahead and undo that again. And this time I want to open the family in the family editor to show you a couple more features that are available in the family editor. When you open the parameter scheduler from the family editor, you'll see the same list of templates that you can add parameters from, but it's really important to note that you can add parameters not just from a template, but from multiple templates, from a shared parameter file, from the project elements, or in the family editor, you can actually convert family parameters to shared parameters. You can also use features such as searching as you type if you wanted to find a particular parameter. Now over here at the right, there are some settings that you can save inside of your template. I can choose whether I want things to be instance or type. I can also select multiple things at once and I can change them all to be the same thing. I can say what it's gonna be grouped under in my project or in my family. And over at the right, I even have the ability to change the value, the default value of the type, and also to assign formulas to the parameters as well. There's also the ability to replace existing parameters in your family 
with the new shared parameter. This will enable you to keep the same formulas, associations with geometry, or other things without breaking the family. Once you've created your list of parameters that you'd like to save, you can save it as a template or replace an existing template with this one. You can also add it to your current family or add it to an entire folder of families to process many families at once. The settings that you choose are stored in a tab delimited text file that you can edit in this interface, you can share with others, or even edit it in Excel. If we go back into the project environment, we can see how easy it is to set up your own templates. In the parameter scheduler, I'm going to switch to another template file that hasn't been very much filled out, but I can go to my current document and I can go to scheduled parameters and automatically select all the shared parameters that are on that schedule. I can then save that as a template and I'll just call this David's temp1. And when I go back to my templates, it's saved right here. Maybe I want to do that for scheduled parameters or I want to do it from selected parameters. But once I've got these, I can also choose if I want to export these to a shared parameter file. I can create new shared parameters from scratch that these new parameters will only live in the project or the families that you add them to unless you want to save them to a template or if you want to merge them with your company shared parameter file. Or I can export my shared parameter file to my consultants or others that want to be able to use the same parameters for filtering or for other purposes. This allows you flexibility to add parameters to project schedules and make your projects just work without having to worry about whether you're changing company standards unless you choose to export it to those standards. With that, we've seen how the parameter scheduler can be used to quickly make content compatible with your existing project content and your schedules and how we can create templates for creating standardized content to work with company standards. Thanks for watching and be sure to let your colleagues and associates know how they can save time by automating their workflows.